Welcome back, everybody. This is the email section of the Susie Orman Show. Now, before I invite Lou onto the stage so he can read me the email, yes, this is Military Saves Week. So for all of you in the armed forces, we hope you're saving all of us, and we hope you're saving your money as well. But next week is International Women's Day. We can't let that go by without a shout-out to that, as well as I will be speaking at the United Nations, and I'm going to be doing so with Andrea Jung of Avon, CEO of Avon. And I just want to acknowledge to everybody that I am working with Avon to educate the 500 to 600,000 reps that they currently have and their employees to make sure that they know how to make more out of less money. So Avon, I can't wait for you and me to change this world one woman at a time. Lou, come on. Come on, Lou. Avon calling. Avon. That's no longer their thing. It's not really? hello tomorrow is their new slogan. Hello tomorrow. Hello tomorrow. We're going to make sure that every single woman is happy to say hello to their tomorrows. Ah, very nice. Do you have a good email for me? Uh, I have a nice long email for you. All right. Ready? All right. From Renee in New York. I work for New York State and will retire in four years. I co-signed on my daughter's student loan a key alternative loan. My daughter wants to drop out of school and says she will not pay the loan back, so I will have to repay the loan. The loan was about $52,000, not including interest. I make $95,000 per year. I don't own anything. Have no savings except for $180,000 in deferred compensation. My question is, should I forego retirement and pay the loan off from my paycheck, or should I borrow from my New York State deferred compensation plan and my pension and just work until the amount is repaid? Oh, boy, Renee. How old did Renee say she was? She is 52 years old. Oh, Renee, at 52 years of age, in four years you would be 56. That's younger, younger than I'm going to be this year. Got that? So should we be retiring even if we have the money to do so? No, you're still young. I don't want you to borrow from your deferred comp from your retirement plans. I want you to work and pay this off. And in working and pay it off, I don't want you to let your daughter forget that she's making you extend your retirement by four years because she is irresponsible. Have you learned now not to co-sign a loan? Have all of you learned not to co-sign loans? When are you going to learn not to co-sign a loan for anybody? You think they're ever going to learn that? No. Why is that? I don't know. Because you've, you want to help your child. The least you can do maybe is co-sign a loan. But I mean, that's the last I, thing I you should do. I don't want to pay. She doesn't want to pay her loan back. She oh, just doesn't want to pay. It. I don't care who you are. That's don't co-sign loans for gotcha. anybody. Got that? Got it. All right. All right. And here's what I got. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. All right, everybody. The one lesson that I hope you always learn from the Susie Orman Show. You get it? Just don't co-sign a loan. But until next week, there's only one thing that I really want you to remember when it comes to your money, and it's this. People first, then money, then things. Now you stay safe.